Hey everyone, this is Uncle Pete from Super Easy Forex. I hope you're having a great day. Um, there's a lot of important things on this video, so make sure to pay attention to it. Uh, first of all, I want to go over the numbers from last week and kind of go over what kind of rehearsed what happened last week in the markets. Um, and then I got some very important stuff to tell you guys, so hang tight. Let me go through the numbers real quick. Uh, last week we had 10 wins, 5 losses, and 1 break even, and 1 hold. Um, as you know, I warned you guys on last Sunday that last week was going to be completely bananas and tumultuous because of all the different news events, especially the Fed interest rate announcement, which has now come out. Uh, they have raised interest rates and they're hinting towards constantly raising them further. So you saw uh, huge spikes in the market because of that. One of the reasons why I tell you guys not to trade during news events is because typically when they raise interest rates, the currency go up. But you'll see this on multiple pairs, including the Swiss. The Swiss had a major drop as well, not because they raised the interest rates, but it's because of what they said afterwards. So that's the reason why you don't always want to trade news events if you don't know what's going on. Again, I warned you guys, that's part of the reasons why banks do not trade before news events. Even if they have the best analysts on the planet, they're not going to trade beforehand because it's not just what they know it's going to be said, but what will be said afterwards can still crash the market and go against what they knew it could have done. Okay, so in this situation, the feds have came out. They say, yes, we're raising interest rates in the future. So that means cost of uh, for everything for the average person, credit card debt, uh, you talking about uh, house loans, car loans you know many different things aspects is going to and businesses are going to be hit with this new interest rate but there was other things they said after which was caused the dollar to drop real hard swiss did the same thing gbp came out with their news on their uh, uh interest rates last week and so it was just a madhouse uh of a storm okay hang on to that word storm very important okay so in the beginning of the week you see we took a couple of losses in the beginning of the week which is quite natural um you know there's nothing you can do about that however we was able to recover towards the end of the week you see we had back-to-back -back winners after that uh so we did very well so we still came out 10 and 5 very profitable for the signal side now for the scalping group and miss jenny scalping group we did they did 4548 pips uh, so they, 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 they did very well themselves, uh, despite the tumultuousness in the markets. The good news is this week in the markets is going to be way smoother. Okay. It's kind of like the storm. Watch that word. I'm going to get to it. It's kind of like the storm has passed. And so now the markets can resume being calm and fit. And I, uh, I really think we're going to have a, a, a very, very good trading week. Okay. Now moving on to the economic calendar. Make sure don't hang to the end because I got some very important to tell you guys so i'm just getting through all the news and then we're going to get to the next part all right so now as you guys know i like using my fx book for for news events that's coming up for the coming week there's many different outlets out there that does the same thing but this is the one i like too so i go here i click on economic calendar and then here i go to next week okay and that'll pull up all the different news events uh, for the up and coming week. And again, if you're in the signals group, if this pops up, just click on continue to my FX book. If you're in the super easy Forex group, the simplicity group, meaning you bought the simplicity system and it comes with the free classes, you already don't have to really worry about this because we already gave you a sheet of paper in there. So right before you take trades, you can actually check the sheet, the print off, check the sheet of news events. And if you see that thing coming up soon, then that means just avoid trading that pair. We already done the homework for you. We gave you a sheet. It's in your printouts and your tutorials. So as you're going through the tutorial steps, there will be a tab for printouts. Just print that out, post it up next to your desk. So right before you take any trade, you can just glance right at that sheet and take a look at this. If you see that this calendar shows that this news event is coming up and it matches what's on that sheet, you just, hey, stay away from that trade, okay? Stay away from the trade, trade something else that don't have an upcoming news event. So that's for you guys. We've already done it for you. This is just a general overview for those who don't, okay? Um, what I'm looking at, there's a lot of little red envelopes, but a lot of them, realistically, the major storm has already passed. So a lot of these, they may cause, in my opinion, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm just saying for my trading purposes, um, I don't see these as earth shaking like last week. They may cause a little blip in the market temporarily, but then that's over with. OK, so let me go over the ones that's important to me. OK, uh, on Tuesday, 
I do see this is on Monday, so this is just manufacturing numbers and stuff like that. May cause a little blip, but again, you know, hey, uh, that's that, not earth shattering, okay? Now, this one is important. As you can see on Monday, you have the AUD coming out with their interest rates. AUD interest rates, that's important, okay? To see what they're talking about. This can affect the AUD and the NZD and anything that, that you're trading against those two, so pay attention to that, okay? All right, next one I'm looking at on Tuesday, uh, which is uh, going to be the durable goods and services by the U.S., okay? And I've seen that on the calendar somewhere. Uh, this is on Tuesday. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've seen it somewhere. I have it on the mobile one. That's why I like the mobile version better. Well, it's on the mobile version, but I didn't see it on the... Um, oh, I'm sorry. You know what? Let me see something. I think that's, that's, I'm on the wrong week. No wonder. There we go. Ooh, I was going to say something wrong. I know I'm not tripping. Okay, let's go back through this again. Today is the 25th. See, what's nice, you can click on check and see what news is coming up, not just this week, but next week as well. So when I clicked on next week, it's actually showing next week in October. See, you can know well in advance. That's why I like this tool. So let's go to this week. I clicked on the wrong tab, this week. So now let's go back through it. And now we can be accurate. I knew something was wrong. Okay, so on Tuesday, okay, I'm going to skip down to Tuesday. There it is. Durable goods and services is what I'm going to pay attention to. I don't think it's going to cause a major blip. It just probably just a little small blip. Um, and then on Wednesday, you have uh, uh, trade balance uh, for the U.S. as well. That's going to be coming out. The good trade balance right here uh, may cause a little blip, but probably nothing much. Uh, but again, you want to just be cautious and, 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 and not be foolish. On Thursday, let's skip down. See how fast you can get through the news? Because all the major news was last week. So this week, it should be more balanced uh, as far as smoothness in the market. Because it's not so much everything. The storm was passed. Remember that word because I got something important to tell you guys. All right. Um, inflation uh, year over year for the euro is something right here. Uh, that's going to be on Thursday. So just if... If you're trading the euro during that time, just make sure to pay attention to this because it could cause a blip uh, on them. Uh, and then we also have it on Friday, the same thing. The euro coming out with their year-over-year -year, uh, inflation numbers. And that was uh, somewhere around here. Right there. Okay. And why do you see double inflation for euro? Because it's called the euro zone, which encompasses many different small different currency pairs. So it's not just the euro US, the euro USD or the euro JPY. The GBP is also has their own. Well, they're separate. But anyway, um, you have different currencies and other small countries or whatever you want to call it encompassed in the euro zone okay so that's the reason why they sometimes you're in my opinion you see repeated information it'll still be the same thing but you know it's just for different sectors of uh the euro zone okay all right so that's enough of that now last but not least and let me say this because i'm going to bounce very important remember i kept telling you guys storm 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 um for my students, it is imperative that you understand there will be no class this week because we're actually dodging a storm. If you haven't seen it on the news, there's a huge storm coming uh, for that's going to be covering multiple states on the eastern on the eastern uh, seaboard or whatever y'all want to call it, uh, Florida, uh, Cuba, and many other countries uh, in this in that area. The Mexican bore, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, I forgot what they call it, but the, the, there's a um, uh, I'm not the Mexican border, but y'all know what I mean. Anyway, there's a huge storm coming. So we're going to actually be heading out right now to avoid the whole thing and just, you know, come back and see what happens and go from there. But I don't, I just want to get my wife out of, out of harm's way, um, just to make sure that you know, everything is safe and sound. So we won't have any classes this week. I will say this, you guys, please trade cautiously this week. Just, you know, let the markets resume and get back to normal especially on Sundays and Mondays. It really nice to absorb weekend news and things from last week, and therefore you have a little off balance when you're trading. And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it tends to smooth itself back out, okay? So all I can do is suggest trade lightly on Sunday and Monday, and then resume looking for great opportunities on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, okay? But again, there will be no class this week for the students because I got to get out of Dodge. Safety comes first. And then I will see you guys the following week. We will be responding to emails and everything else. We're still around. It's just
just that we're going to be mobile um, um, uh, instead of in the office. OK, so I do apologize ahead of time. And, and I also want to welcome all of our new students. Thank you very much for joining the team. And uh, we look forward to having a very prosperous trading week. Um, and this is, again, I appreciate my team, by the way, because even if I have to be uh, on the move, they're still doing their thing. So, again, uh, expect some great signals coming out this week like we always do. OK, you guys be safe if you're over on these areas where the storm can hit you. Please do not gamble with your life. It's not worth it. So if wherever you need to go to get to safety, safety comes first. OK, your family comes first. You can always make money at any time, but not if you're dead. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day.